All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rokakudash. Double honors to the apostles, elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to Allah Akim Dun and pushing his word in all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a sincere shalom to the elect. Now, this song here, uh, uh, Israel Vibration here, talking about war in the Middle East, Middle East, okay? Slakia, uh, Middle East. This, you know, when you listen to this song, there's a quote that he says in here. I wrote it down here. You better take warning, okay? That's what we're doing. That's what the Lord sends us out there on the highways and byways to do is give you individuals warning, okay? It says right here, um, Isaiah chapter 51 and verse uh, or 58, and verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob their sins. Okay? So, we're warning the people. Okay? We're giving them warning on change your, you know, change your approach. You know, coming to serve your Yahweh Shimei Oshai. You know, change your approach. Because you're not serving them right. You're doing mouth service, but at the same time, you know, you're not actually committed to these acts, okay? And before these things come upon the world, okay, we're giving you the warning, all right? The Lord loves his people, so he's going to give them warning, all right? He's going to give them warning before he does something, just like a father would do to a child that he loves. Hey, and, you know, and say to him, hey, listen, don't, don't go over there right there. Go over there. You could hurt yourself. You could fall down. Whatever. Blah blah blah. Okay. The kid gets up. You know, wanders over there again. The kid. Hey, listen. I told you. This is the first time I'm gonna give you this warning again, eh? Don't go over there. The first time I told you not to go over there. Now you 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 trying to overstep your boundaries. Okay. I gave you instruction. I said don't go over there. And what are you doing? You're going over there. This is your first warning, okay? After I told you, I gave you a commandment, you went against it. Okay, here's your first warning, all right? The second time now, you know, you get up, give him discipline, you know? And now the third time, you walk over there, you fall down and hurt himself, all right? So you got the warning. Then you got a, 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 a you know, admonishment, you know, a, you got stripes, right? And then after, you got your punishment, man. The third time. Because he didn't want to listen. He wanted to be hard-headed, right? And like Proverbs 29 and 1 said, you know, he that often being reproved, harden his neck, right? Um, Salakia. Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word that Yahweh has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I punish you for all your iniquities. Okay? So, the Lord gives us a warning. Okay? And in this song here, you know, he's telling, he's telling the people, you better take warning, you better take warning. Because war is not just going to stay over there. It's going to come over here. All right? Uh, second point, he said, watch the Middle East. It started from there. This is the Toro World Slaughter heading for the West Frontier. Okay? And that's right. That whole drama unfolding over there is about to head over here, man. The land of unwalled, unwalled villages. Okay? Let's go to Jeremiah. And one thing that these people are upset about is the bullshit. The bullshit that America has been pulling, man. Thinking that they could pull... You know what, actually that they could pull the wool over people's eyes. Nehemu, Nehum 3 and 1, Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. And the period departed not. Okay? Full of lies and robbery. Right? Because it has been stealing from the people. It's been robbing the people. Been lying to these other nations. Tricking them. Okay? Even though they're all in one confederate against Israel. Esau still, he's a wicked man, man. He still plot against those other nations too as well. Jeremiah 51 and verse 7. 
Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, in Yahweh's hand, that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad because the nations are waking up to the bullshit. Okay? They're waking up to your bullshit, Esau Edom. All right? They don't they don't want they don't they don't they don't like you okay they're seeing that you're a wicked man all right they're finally waking up to these facts because the lord is uncovering these things remember the lord said here isaiah 25 and 7 he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covenant cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations right and you know even though esau edom took confederate with these guys he also, you know, slowly but surely tricked them, okay? Got them calling themselves Chinese, having the world thinking they're called Indians, you know, having the world thinking they're called Africans. And then and then those those people, they change up too. They say, yeah, we're Africans, we're Indians, yeah, we're Chinese, right? And Esau Edom knows that they have a biblical name, all right? So all that uh, bullshit, you know, the world is starting to see you for all your bullshit, all your ro lies and robbery that you have done to their nations too as well. So they're waking up to these facts, okay? Facts that you've hidden and covered and these people are starting to bring it out. They're saying, no, this place is not called Bombay, it's Mumbai. These fucking British people came here. Hey buddy, hey buddy, these British people came here. This and that, blah, blah, blah. You know, it's not, and Hindus, that's not even a real name. India, that's not even a real name either. Africa, you know, Africa comes from Leo Cyprikos Africanos and, and the brother too, Asia. Come on, man. You, the jig is up, Esau. Everybody know who you is. Everybody. All right. Let's go here. The vile person shall be uh, Isaiah 32 and 5. The vile person shall be. Be no more called liberal, nor the churl said to be bountiful. Okay? A fool will no longer be called noble, nor a scoundrel said to be important. That's what's going to happen to your ass, yo. Okay? That's what's going to happen to your ass, man. Yep. In that day, ungodly fools will not be heroes, NLT, scoundrels will not be respected okay the fool will no more no more be called noble nor the scoundrel said to be honorable es esv that one was good too damn so yeah this is what's happening to you because everybody's starting to realize who you are okay the whole world's waking up to the fact of who you is man and you know they don't they don't like what you've done okay and they're even exposing certain things that you've done to us you know, point those point those facts out, smearing that shit back in your face, and this is why, going back to the uh, lesson here, this is why, you know, that that uh, that war, you know, that slaughter, that bullshit that you started, is heading for this western frontier over here, man. The 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 let me get it real quick, the land of uh, you know. On wall villages, Ezekiel 38 and verse 11. And thou shalt say, I will go up. And thou shalt say, I will go up to the land of on wall villages. I will go to them that are at rest, that dwell safely, all of them dwelling without walls and having neither bars nor gates. And that's this place, man. They're going to come over here because uh, all you guys over here are dwelling safely and at rest, man. Those people got to worry about war. The whole of that other side of the world, they got to worry about war. War could pop out like that. Bam. <laughs> Cities get laid out. Boom, boom, bombed up. Okay? Africa, China, wherever it may be. Russia, Europe. <laughs> or break out. India, all those places, man. You're talking about. We see it all the time on, on the fucking news. Now, where do you see that over here? You just see people going crazy and shooting people, right? But wait, wait, wait till it's all out, full out war. Apartment buildings blown in half. Hospitals licked down. You know? 
But yeah, this is the this is the land where you're at rest, man. Okay? No bars, no gates. Yeah? No walls. Dwelling safely. Okay? So anyways, let's get back into this. Uh second Ezra chapter six. Second Ezra chapter six and twenty-two. Yep. Uh second Ezra chapter six and twenty two and suddenly shall the sown places appear on sown. The full storehouse storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And the trumpet shall give a sound which every man every man heareth, they shall be suddenly afraid. At that time shall friends fight fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein the springs of the fountains shall stand still and in three hours they shall not run whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation see my salvation and the end of your world okay this place is being commissioned to be taken out okay and right now you're seeing inflation going back to uh, verse 22 here you're seeing inflation but soon enough it's gonna get so corrupt and so bad out there. That's what we saw with um, Mickey Vicky. How there was supplies, you know, slowing down and things were coming in and the store sh shelves were getting empty. Well, guess what? Same thing is coming back again because something's breaking out right now in that other country and it's, and it's going worldwide. And this guy, Kill Gates, he already wants to make another uh, pandemic, okay? So something's coming down the pipe. And then on top of that, remember, the recession, okay? Revelation chapter uh, 6, okay? The inflation, a penny's wage, right? So that inflation is coming. And these, these places, it's not going to be easy to be making, um, you know, to be making products. and Because the same shit is going to happen again. Another pandemic, Okay? And on top of that, war is coming here. All right? War is on the horizon for this place. Remember, these people are going to come against this land, eh? So, it's going to be... It's, what the fuck? It's going to be something that you've never seen in this place before. Red October, you know? That's our Red Dawn. Where they invaded the land. All right? You're going to see that here. Oh, yeah, you're going to live to see that. Okay? <laughs> you know and it's gonna get so bad like the next verse that a friend shall fight one another like enemies man okay because this place is not gonna be as how it is now how you're living in ease you get to call on the phone food show up at your door and all that type of shit no war is coming here man okay yep second Ezra 15 second Ezra 15 14 Start from, uh, yep. Second Ezra 15 and 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and destruction draweth nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another. And swords in their hand. And you know the modern day sword is what? Guns. For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. For they shall not regard their kings nor princes. And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. I'm not going to give a fuck about police because police going to be out there. What is that movie? Fuck, I forget the movie, man. There was a movie where something had happened and police ran into the uh, um, thing to get formula. And when the guy saw it, he's like, hey, hey, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't mean. And the, the police was like, what the fuck? Get the fuck out of my way. Yo. I need to get baby formula food. 
So it's going to happen, okay? All you people sitting around snacking and sure, sure. Yeah, it's, these scriptures are speaking about you guys, man. Woe to them that dwell therein, man, in that in that time, okay? Roughly phrasing. A, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, right? Because there's going to be roadblocks. There's going to be the military out there, you know what I mean? martial law all these things gonna start to kick in man because uh, you know shit kicks out shit goes crazy for a while and then the government gets kind of you know a little control starts setting up little districts fema camps all this stuff and he does that via the the you know some police and mainly the military okay because like i said police gonna be running around too trying to look for food for their families all right and if you're not a part of that beast, if you're not a part of that, uh, you know, moving military system, and you, you, you're going to be on the outside. And you're going to be, fuck, cops going to be in the concentration camps with, with their kids, man. What are you talking about? A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, right? Remember it says, uh, 2 Ezra 8 and 50. You know, these people dwell in pride, man. They dwell in pride. Well, guess what's going to happen to them? Okay? And it's a prideful thing. When we're giving you that warning, it's a prideful thing to stick up your nose and be like, meh, not us. You know? Their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Right? And man shall have no pity on his neighbor. See, going back into Second Ezra chapter 6. But shall destroy their houses with the sword. That's the gun. Right? And spoil their goods, which is food. Right? And any bits of gold, silver, anything you can sell, barter, and trade, right? Because of the lack of bread, food, once again, going back into Revelation chapter 6, okay? Shit gonna get harsh over here. And for great tribulation, right? So we're, we're, we're telling you this now. We're giving you the warning. All this is gonna come on the Western, Western Hemisphere, as they say, okay? And we're giving you the warning, man. The signs are there. Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself. And when thou seest part of the signs past, which we're seeing, earthquakes in diverse places, uproars of the people, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes, which we're seeing on a large number everywhere. Jamaica, Barbados, all of them just had earthquakes the other day, up to last week or whatever. And uproars of the people. Look what's happening with this pro, you know what, pro peace, all right? Going against the Uish, right? Right? Uh, uproars of the people in the world. And what are we seeing? We're seeing uproars of the people in the world, worldwide everywhere okay riots fucking uh, uh uh these little um protests popping up you know what i mean shutting down government here and there you know causing a muck right people stand against the system because they're awoken now and this is the vibe that's coming over here man the vibe is coming over here all right going back into the you know what we're what we're saying here you know it start from the middle east there Right? That terror war slaughter is headed for the western frontier, man. Okay? It's coming here. All right? You can't do nothing about it. It's coming. All right? Because the Lord has prescribed it. I was going to this real quick. Isaiah. There was a little bit more I wanted there, but. And look, this is what's happening because the scriptures tell you it's going to happen, man. Isaiah chapter. And we have faith in Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay? We believe. Isaiah 33 and verse 1, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled. Going into you, America. And dealt, that's why the, the land of unwalled villages, watch, they're going to come and spoil you. And dealt, dealest treacherously, which you done, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou shall make an end to deal treacherously they shall deal treacherously with thee and that's right man 
you know, all the blood that you've shed in the earth, all this wickedness that you've done, you deserve what you get. So when you stop dealing treacherously with these people, they're going to start dealing treacherously with you. They're going to spoil you. They're going to turn you up. They're going to turn you up and out. They're going to rape you. Okay? They're going to pillage you. All right? Straight up. <laughs> um, Isaiah chapter 24 and verse 7. The new wine mourneth, the vine languish. All the merry hearted do sigh. Why? Because all that all that happiness, all that happy, happy, joy, joy, all that's gonna be knocked the fuck out. Okay? Knocked out, man. It's gonna be done. The mirth of the tail bearers ceaseth, the noise of them that rejoiceth in it. The joy of the harper seeth. They shall not drink wine with song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. The city, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a cry, there is a crying. There is a crying for wine in the streets. All joy is darkened. All the mirth of the land is gone. The city is left desolate and the gate is smitten with destruction. And that's your end, man. That's your end game. You just went through your whole end game, okay? From recession to, to being raped and pillaged <laughs> and then getting hit with fucking nuclear destruction. That's your, that's your end, man. You'll finish Esau Edom and this whole society that you got here, this whole whole society that you got here this so-called mighty babylon all right i mean this so-called mighty place this babylon okay it's over man it's done for you okay so going back into this you know middle east from prophetic vibrations you know th th this place is done and finished okay and that song is a sweet song man that's a yapa song Okay, that was a Yapa song, man. I'm listening to that constantly on a daily sometimes, man. You know. I can hear it in my head right now. <laughs> Anybody, uh, uh, yeah. I oh, man. Anyways, hey, Akim. I hope you're edified. All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh. Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. And peace and salutation to all the Akim Duna pushing this word. And all honesty, truth, and sincerity worldwide. And a shalom to the sincere sisters out there. And a sincere shalom to the elect. I hope you're edified. Lord willing, to the next time, Matthew chapter 24 and 13 to you all. Shalom, shalom, Akim. And with that, wa abad babal. Shalom.